Welcome once more to Mathematics Po. So today we are going to calculate the volume of this day case. So before we start calculating the volume, let's write the formula of volume of a stair case prism or for any other prism. So the volume is equals to the base area times the height. So this is the formula that we use. <clears throat> so we are going to calculate the base area and we should be able to identify the height as well. So to get the volume, we need to calculate the base area. So which part of this equation is the base area? So a prism must have two identical bases, like two parts that are identical, that represent the base. So this part and this part is the same. So this is the base of the prism because this and this are equal. So <clears throat> if we look at the base, can be separated into various rectangles in order to calculate the base area because it's a compound shape so we are going to separate them into three rectangles so we have to identify identify the height of each rectangle so if we want to identify this height for the first rectangle so we can see that the total height we focus on the vertical line so to get this height we need this seven plus 2 plus 4. So 7 plus 2 again, 7 plus 2 plus 4. So 7 plus 2 plus 4 will give us 13. So we have 13. Then this other part, we can see we have 5 here, so this is 5. So this other part represents 5 centimeter. So the area here will give us 65 centimeters square okay so we are done with this first part so if we look for the area of this other section so here we have the width which is five centimeter so next is to identify the height so to get this height so we start focusing from the stair here as we are going down the stair. So we are going to have 2 plus 4, which is 6. So we are going to have 6. If we multiply them together, we are going to have 30. Now the last part is this section. To get the area of this section, we can see that here is 5 centimeter, and this other section is 4. 4 centimeters so the area 5 times 4 is 20 so this implies our base area will be equals to we need to add all the various area together so we are going to add 65 plus 30 plus 20 so our base area will give us 115 so this will give us 115 centimeters square okay so that is the value of the base area now what is the height so if you can see uh if you can look carefully that we have used all this dimension so far there's only one dimension that we didn't use for this question which is 10 so 10 represent the height if we flip this object upside down you can see that here is 10 here is 10 10 10 10 10 and 10 so this is the height of this prism so this prism is the height is 10 centimeter so to calculate our volume now we have the base area and we have the height which is 10 centimeter we can go back and follow the formula volume will be equals to the base area is 115 centimeter square times 10 centimeter so the volume will be if we multiply 115 times 10 we are going to have 1150 centimeter cube okay so thanks for watching please subscribe for more video